Hi guys, Dr. Gardy here with part one of our five part series on the causes of lower back pain. Okay, so it's been estimated that at least 80% of all of us are gonna suffer with lower back pain at some point in our lives. So you might be wondering why? Like what causes us to have to deal with this lower back pain? What happens is it's how you move your body, you know, what your previous injury history is and what your movement habits are, you know, that what you do or don't do every day that plays a huge role in either increasing or decreasing your risk of backache. So when your joints, your discs, muscles, tendons, and ligaments of your spine become overloaded beyond their normal limits, that's where you get your lower back pain. So this can happen in an instant, you know, all at once, uh, like you lift incorrectly while rotating, uh, lifting a heavy weight incorrectly, a car accident or trauma, or it can happen gradually over time, like a repetitive stress injury, like if you're stuck in a chronic movement pattern over a long period of time, like sitting at a desk for eight hours a day, you know, standing on concrete for your whole working life. You know, most of us know to try to remember to use proper posture if we're lifting something heavy, but did you know the risk associated with sitting? Researchers have discovered that long periods of sitting may be as harmful as smoking to your health. So sitting for four hours a day can increase your risk of back pain by deconditioning the muscles supporting your spine. And studies have also shown that sitting for more than four hours a day can contribute to health concerns like increased blood pressure and increased abnormal cholesterol levels. Let's see part four. Okay, so did you know that you know, paying attention to how you move your body is one of the most important things that you can do to reduce your risk of having lower back pain. Okay. You know, maybe your job requires that you're at a computer all day, but that doesn't mean that you can't take you know, positive steps towards having better health. So taking a proactive approach where you have you know, a daily exercise routine or, or stretching at work can help to reduce your risk of having lower back pain. You know, if you're at a desk all day, remember to stand up every 30 minutes and, and move for 30 seconds. You know, make sure you know, if you walk or stretch even a little bit during your lunch break it can help tremendously. You know, when you're stuck, in a car, you know, having a comfortable lumbar support can also help when you're stuck in traffic. If you have taken our advice in our last videos, you know, and, and you've taken steps to help to prevent lower back pain, and let's face it, we are all made of imperfect clay, right? Things can still go wrong. So the good news is, is that the jury is in, right? So chiropractic care has been proven to be extremely safe and effective for the treatment of lower back pain. In fact, 22 million Americans visited a chiropractor last year. So that's pretty cool. In the last 22 years, you know, we strive to pursue excellence in getting people out of pain as quickly as possible and as cost effectively as possible. So if you or someone you know needs some help, you, you can feel free to reach out to us. We can find out what's going on, see if we can help you. Okay, thanks guys.